Oof. Today, guys, we have a Polygon Helios A8X uh, bike uh, weighing in at 7.9 kilograms and in pounds, 17 pounds, 9 ounces. And that does include the Garmin mount out front. It does not include uh, bottle cages. And stay tuned later as we will do a uh, free hub sound test on these in-house uh, Entity WR5 wheels. Yo, ho, ho. welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. Today is a very exciting day because the bike you see right here in front of us, I believe is one of the best, the absolute best values that you can buy today on the market for a complete bike. And the bike you see um, is a lovely looking uh, Polygon Helios A. 8x uh, complete bike that is a mouthful um, so what we're going to be doing in today's video guys is we're going to of course be going over all the components all uh, the specs on this bike and i'm going to show you exactly why i think that this bike is a fantastic value um, and then afterwards we'll of course take this bike out on the road so i can give you some of my initial thoughts on this bike because based on my first impressions out on the road this bike is fantastic so without further ado let's begin okay all right so the bike you see here uh before you guys this is like i said in the introduction this is the uh, polygon a 8x uh, complete uh, bike and um, at the time of this video you can purchase this bike um, on the website called bikesonline.com uh, they have both a united states uh, site as well as an australian site as well um, and currently um, you can purchase this bike for about thirty eight hundred dollars maybe four thousand dollars all in for everything that you see here and i was really excited when they reached out to me um, essentially they sent me uh, bikes online that is they sent me this bike out um, as a loaner for me to uh, review and test for the next few months. So I am going to be putting this bike through all of its paces, all of my usual routes, some sprint efforts, everything you can imagine and um, to see if this bike is in fact a fantastic value in the long term. So let's go ahead and just um, talk about uh, some of the uh, components and specs on this bike. Okay guys, uh, first things first. So for $3,800 um, at the time of this video for this complete Polygon bike, that includes a full DI2 Altegra 12 speed group set. Now think about that for a second, right? For an uh, aero bike um, of this style, including these wheels, group set, whatever, all these things combined, the fact that you can get a full 12 speed Altegra group set for less than $4,000, incredible. And if you don't believe me, all you have to do is uh, take a look at some of the other uh, name brand bikes out there, whether like from Trek or from Specialized, and see how much it would cost to get an aero bike that is paired with uh, Altegra 12 speed. Uh, and see how much those cost and you will realize just off the bat um, what sort of value this bike uh, has. So what we have out front as far as the crank goes, we have a uh, 5236 uh, crank out front. Uh, the crank arms themselves are 172.5. Uh, um, no power meter is included. Um, but then out in the rear, as far as cassette goes, is we have a, uh, an 11 to 34 uh, crank. So you can kind of tell that Bikes Online and Polygon, they've kind of considered a wide range of riders um, so that uh, if you are taking this bike either on the flats or you're doing some sort of rolling terrain as well, you're not going to have any problems finding the right gear um, so that you can have fun and put the power down uh, on the hills or on the flats. Oh, hit my head. Now, before I go ahead and discuss this integrated cockpit, because it does look wickedly awesome and super duper aero, I do want to talk about uh, just the uh, customer experience and the, all of the shipping that um, comes with purchasing uh, this bike from bikesonline.com. Uh, uh, now, everything was shipped absolutely perfectly. And what I mean by that is uh, Polygon and Bikes Online, they literally have thought about every single thing you're gonna need to uh, build this bike up uh, once you receive it um, in the mail. So of course, you're gonna get all of the tools, you're gonna get uh, some extra grease and lube, uh, some carbon paste uh, for the seat post, um, even just uh, some of the clips uh, for the rotors in case, um, or I'm sorry, for the calipers in case you need to uh, service and take out the rotors. All these little bits, everything has been exceptionally thought about and cared for um, and it really goes to show that bikes online and polygon they really have thought about everything the customer is going to need so you're not going to be stranded you won't have to take your bike uh, to a bike shop or anything like that to get it set up all you are going to have to do once the uh, big old box arrives in the mail is all you have to do is install the wheels 
um, install the uh, the seat post. Um, the saddle is already uh, attached to the seat post, so just install the seat post, and then from that point onward, um, install the um, the Garmin mount out front, and then essentially download the Shimano app, and then sync up the DI2 group set to your phone to get everything going. But like I said, everything you're going to need uh, from uh, Bikes Online to get this bike up and going has been very uh, very well carefully thought about, and you're going to be good to go. Now. With that being said, let's talk about uh, the integrated cockpit um, out front. So as you can see, uh, this is from FSA slash ACR. This is their uh, Vision Metron. Uh, what is this? This is their uh, 5D integrated cockpit. This thing, if you were to just buy this cockpit um, alone as is, it's probably going to cost you like five or six hundred dollars USD. So you're already starting to do the math, right? Um, uh, Shimano DI2 12-speed group set is probably going to cost you all in about $2,000. You have $700 for the cockpit. So already at the price of this, this complete bike for you know $4,000 or $3,800, you can already see that a lot of value is being pumped into this frame. Um, but anyway, going back to the cockpit, it's integrated. Of course, um, uh, the width of the integrated cockpit is uh, 42 centimeters wide. That is a bit wide for how I particularly um, have my bikes uh, set up. Typically, I ride maybe like a 38 centimeter or a 40 centimeter. But again, given that this is a complete bike um, that you are purchasing, uh, Bikes Online and Polygon, they of course were considerate in trying to have this bike uh, fit a wide variety of riders. And this is the width that you get uh, when you are purchasing a size large, size uh, 56 frame, uh, which you see right before you. Okay, now you might be asking yourself, uh, what if you can't or don't want to spend $3,800 or $4,000 uh, for a complete bike? Now again, I think this is a fantastic value for everything that you get. Uh, what if your budget is a little bit less than that? Well, the good thing uh, about this uh, Polygon Helios uh, bike is Bikes Online, they actually offer this bike in three different flavors. They have the uh, 105 Di2 version of this as well. And then they also have the Shimano um, Durace version of this bike. And the paint job on the Durace version of this bike is absolutely sick. It's like this 3D uh, speckled um, sort of uh, rainbow effect it looks crazy good in the sunlight um, the color you see here this is just uh, pretty subdued it, it's just a matte uh, matte matte black finish with just sort of faint um, faint uh, designs inside where you can see some of the raw carbon um, so it's nice that they thought about this as well by offering up um, a couple of or three different flavors of uh, bikes depending on your budget um, and then the group set and wheels with that as well. Um, now, with that being said, let's quickly talk about the saddle. So the saddle is by Entity. Um, Entity for both the saddle and their wheels. Um, this is their in-house uh, components um, as well. The saddle is okay. Um, it's a short nose saddle. I can't imagine it's going to be the lightest saddle um, ever. Um, you got the steel rails. My guess is it probably weighs about 250 grams. I don't know, I haven't taken it off, um, so I don't really know, that would be my guess. And what's really cool about this uh, polygon bike is um, similar to some of the other brands on the market is it has the built-in um, ability to adjust the fore and aft position um, uh, through the seat poles without having to adjust or faff around with the saddle itself. Um, this is not my favorite style of a uh, clamp, but I will say that in other bikes that use this style of seat posts and uh, fore and aft style, I haven't had any issues with um, the saddle either accidentally uh, sliding upwards or down, and it does make fine tuning the saddle very, very easy. It's just that because I'm kind of a snob when it comes to aesthetics that uh, it's kind of an eyesore, but I understand the logic behind it. Okay, and moving on to the wheels. Um, now these wheels are by Entity, and like I said, uh, Entity is their in-house uh, brand. Uh, now as far as the specs go on these wheels, um, they are 50 millimeters uh, deep. So again, guys, you again, you're starting to get the bigger picture here of just the value proposition with them. You are getting carbon arrow wheels for less than $4,000 all in. But some of the specs on these Entity W5R wheels is uh, we have uh, steel spokes, 50 millimeters depth carbon wheels, like I said. Um, internal width on these is 21 millimeters. External, I believe these look like, I believe they're 28 millimeters. I don't think they're they're 30. Um, now they come with uh, Schwalbe 1 uh, tires. Um, I will probably swap these out for GP5000s. Um, they come with uh, the Butyl intertubes, which I'll probably swap out for either Latex or TPU. Uh, inner tubes and then as far as the hubs go um, they are a set of Novatech um, hubs now I do have some Novatech hub uh, laced wheels on some of my other uh, bikes 
and wheels. And uh, depending on the grade of Novatec hubs, um, they are very serviceable and they're very robust um, depending on the tier of Novatec hubs. hubs. Um, so kudos to uh, Polygon for being considered with the wheels. But again, 50 millimeter deep wheels for a complete bike like this at this price point is a very, very lovely value. One of the things that I do find compelling with this complete bike um, is like I said, it's these 50 millimeter depth carbon wheels um, that for $4,000, um, you will have plenty of money left over should you decide to purchase a second set of wheels. So maybe with the wheels that come with this uh, polygon, maybe you wanna use these wheels uh, for just your everyday uh, training rides, and maybe you wanted to purchase a separate set of wheels either for the climbing days, or maybe if you are a racer and you want some super duper uh, uh, crit wheels, you can do that uh, because the value of this of this bike allows you to have at least two or three thousand dollars saved over compared to the big brands, where you can be able to buy a second set of wheels. Now, for pers uh, perspective, uh, this bike costs around four thousand dollars USD. Like I said, I spent four thousand dollars on my Giant Propel um, Advanced Pro frame set. Just the frame set alone. It did not include group sets wheels, saddles, anything like that. So again, if you're comparing this to something like that, you can kind of see where I'm going with how much uh, money you can save and what the value proposition is uh, with this complete bike. Alrighty, and as you can see that there is a UCI uh, sticker. Um, so if having that UCI approval is important to you, cool. If it's not important to you, that's also cool uh, too. That just means that uh, this frame set has gone through a certain level of uh, testing uh, for safety. Um, but what I also like too, is you can see the other sticker on here, which is from Bikes Online, um, which if you need help, you can scan the code and then it'll take you to the website. Uh, which by the way, if you are unfamiliar with uh, Bikes Online, um, they're both a uh, US site and an Australian site. Um, they offer a variety of different uh, bikes, components, etc. And I like that they have the sticker simply for the fact that even if you are spending $4,000 for a complete bike, which is a really good value, they're not gonna leave you uh, stranded as far as uh, service goes. And just the whole entire package, like I mentioned earlier for like the shipping, just all of the included parts and tools, everything you need to get this bike going, they have really thought about all the things that a typical customer is going to need, especially considering just the setup of this bike being um, being at a point to where it's basically, it needs to fit a variety of different riders, geometry, uh, and bike fits. Free hub sound test on these Entity W5R uh, wheels with the Novatec hubs. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's quickly talk about uh, geometry for a second. Uh, now, if you go to a Bikes Online website and you take a look at this uh, Polygon bike, uh, you will see that this geometry lends itself to being more of an all-arounder slash endurance bike despite the fact that this is designed uh, more of an aero bike. Um, now, I do agree with Polygon's decision to do this um, because since you are purchasing an entire bike versus just a frame alone option, they had to design and be very considerate of all of the components, the geometry, all these things to be able to fit a wide variety of uh, riders. Now, the thing with this decision is, of course, it can easily become a jack of all trades options, but then also a master uh, of none. So in my case, uh, being that my bike fit is a little bit uh, more on the extreme side, I'm usually running some slam stems with like a 140 millimeter uh, length uh, stem. Uh, this bike is definitely more on the uh, all arounder endurance uh, side. Um, but what that also does mean is that this bike is uh, can be very, very comfortable. You can, of course, if you uh, do decide to purchase this bike, you can, of course, uh, slam the stem, you can swap out the components, things like that. But for a complete package all in, um, it is set up um, for a wide variety of riders. Now, just taking a look at the overall aesthetics and the paint job of this bike, um, it is very, very understated. Um, like I mentioned before, if you opt for the Durace uh, version of this frame set, which even at that price point, it's still a fantastic deal, um, especially for a full Durace uh, group set. I like that the uh, the color and the paint finish on here is very understated. Again, being that uh, Polygon is trying to suit a, a larger variety of riders, you don't necessarily want to offer up some very funky color paint job where you risk not having a lot of customers be interested in that. Most people uh, find this sort of matte color or black 
paint job, gray, gunmetal, I don't know what color it is, but somewhere around gunmetal. It's basically inoffensive and it is going to suit a variety of riders. Now there is one other area that I do want to briefly discuss um, and that is just the overall idea and concept of a complete bike. Now for some of you guys who have been following this channel for the last two or even three years, uh, you know that I typically will uh, source or purchase a frame set alone option and then build the bike up to my specific uh, set or spec I should say just because um, you know I like to tinker with my bike but the reality is for a lot of consumers out there especially if you are spending um, this kind of money a lot of consumers simply just want to buy a bike complete not have to faff around with trying to source wheels cockpit saddle all these things they just want to be able to buy a bike have it arrive to their door um, slap on the wheels and the seat post and saddle and then be able to immediately ride and the fact that uh, Bikes Online is offering this and again this isn't some new um, concept obviously uh, some of the bigger brands out there they also offer up complete bikes um, it's just nice to know that if this is an option for you where you don't want to have to go the completely custom route to building your bike you just want to buy a bike set it up and go that this is a fantastic option and again guys for what the asking price is for this complete bike um, compared to some of the other bigger brands out there it is a really good value i should probably put a, a value counter somewhere up on the screen for how many times i've mentioned uh, what a great value this complete bike is now when you start to account the cost and add up um, all of the different components like the group set uh, the wheels the cockpit um, it might be easy to believe and think uh, that okay all of the savings and how this bike was uh, built to a certain price point, that all of the savings is in the fact that maybe uh, Polygon is using some sort of bottom of the barrel crappy frame set. Um, that is not the case at all. Uh, the fit and finish up on this frame, um, the tolerances, um, all of just the small bits are really, really uh, nice. They definitely um, resembles that of a big brand. So don't think for a second that um, all of the cost savings is in the frame itself. It's That's not the case at all. And you will realize that yourself should you decide to uh, purchase this frame set yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, should you decide to purchase this complete bike yourself? I'm so used to only uh, dealing with frame sets. So that is the high level uh, breakdown of this bike. Like I said, guys, under $4,000, you get an aero frame, you get a 50 millimeter deep carbon wheels, you get a full Altegra uh, DI2 12 speed group set, and you also get this lovely uh, Vision Metron uh, carbon integrated cockpit. So now that we've discussed all of that, let's go ahead and take this bike out on the road so I can give you some of my first initial thoughts on this Polygon A8X complete bike. All right, guys, we are riding the Polygon Helios complete bike. Uh, now, it's important for these first couple of rides. This is actually uh, my second ride on this bike, but it was very important for me to test this bike as is directly out of the box. Um, obviously, you know, I tweaked the saddle hide and the uh, levers and things like that, but I wanted to give this uh, first ride impression just something based on what you would actually expect should you decide to purchase this bike. Um, so I haven't swapped out any of the components. It's the same wheels, tires, handlebars, etc. Just to let you guys know, you know, this is what it's gonna be like when you uh, purchase this bike. So first impressions, uh, this bike feels like a bike that is from a major bike brand. Um, the closest resemblance I can give this bike so far based on the bikes I've reviewed is actually something like my Giant Propel. Just the way it handles uh, the bumps, the way it turns and just just the way it feels when you are at your tempo pace. Now $4,000 for full Altegra DI2 12 speed group set, uh, 50 millimeter depth wheels, uh, these FSA Metron handlebars. Honestly, there's probably not a better deal on the market today for everything that you get for $4,000. It's a fantastic value for what it is. Um, I think the biggest caveat is going to be with all of this is whether or not the frame size for yourself, if all of the components, particularly the saddle and the handlebar setup, if it's actually going to work for your bike fit. Now for myself, because I am an alpha male, I typically run all of my stems basically slammed with like 130 or 140 millimeter negative 12 setup. Uh, so for this integrated cockpit, it's phenomenal. It's got a really good reach on it. Um, I believe the reach on these handlebars is like 80 millimeters. Um, the stem itself is like 105. Um, so for myself, 
because I am on one of the either extreme ends of the bike fit, um, this bike as it is out of the box is basically set up for an endurance ride for myself, just a long endurance day on the road. Um, I am pretty upright on this bike. Now again, of, of course, you know, if you were to purchase this bike, you can customize it. After you purchase it on yourself, if you want to cut the stem, or excuse me, cut the stair tube down, swap out the handlebars. So that is kind of one of the, the downsides to this is if this bike does not fit you out of the box, then you will have to do some faffing around to dial in your bike fit. Today, guys, it is uh, Tuesday. It is towards the end of February. It's like 71 degrees today. It's insane. I'm in a uh, jersey and bibs. Gotta love mother nature. Shout out to global warming. But uh, now the flip side to all this is if you are someone that is basically smack dab in the middle of the bike fit, then this bike directly out of the box is gonna fit you very well. And I really do applaud Polygon for basically going to basically, you know, what they thought would be a gold, a Goldilocks situation where they didn't want anything too aggressive, something that's too uh, relaxed of a geometry, the components, things like that. Because like I said, for myself, I am on the extreme side of things. So it's basically impossible for me to ride a bike, a complete bike directly out of the box and have it uh, fit my bike fit one to one. So that's not any issue on Polygon side, that's just for myself. So if you are someone that just wants a complete bike, you have all the components, fantastic group set, 50 millimeter wheels all in. You buy the bike, hook up the wheels, attach a DI2 to your phone to pair everything up, you'll be good to go directly out of the box. Honestly, I just can't get over the price of everything you get, uh, $4,000. Uh, now the wheels themselves, they are, you know, mid depth, like I said, 50 millimeters. So they're not gonna be the highest end wheels ever on earth. So of course, Polygon did spec this complete bike to, to a price point. And again, at $4,000, I mean, my giant Propel with all the components, basically the frame set itself, basically cost me $4,000. If you're looking at a, a specialized Tarmac a pro frame set, not even the S-Works, that's gonna run you $3,500 as well, plus tax and stuff. So basically for what you're getting for what a mid-tier frame set from one of the, the big boys out there, you are getting a complete bike. And even if you feel like the wheels or the tires are not up to par, you still have more than enough money to buy a set of uh, performance, you know, higher end wheels say something in like the $1,200, $1,300 price point. And you can always use these wheels as your spare wheels. You can use these wheels um, as your winter wheels or just use the higher spec wheels that you could purchase separately as just maybe your race day wheels if you do race. Uh, but as is, it's not gonna slow you down. Sure, you might lose a couple watts here and there, but as far as just how this bike feels, the performance, um, I guess more or less the ride dynamics and sensation, you're gonna be good to go directly out the box. Now for myself, um, if I was purchasing this bike uh, versus testing it out for a few months for this upcoming season, if I was purchasing this bike myself, um, I would basically do a two-tiered uh, upgrade system. So the easy uh, swap or upgrade I would do is I would swap out uh, the wheels and the inner tubes as well as the saddle. Um, these wheels, uh, although they are 50 millimeters in depth, they do weigh like 1,650 grams. Of course, you have regular inner tubes, uh, the tires. So if you swap all those out as well as hook up a carbon saddle, um, this saddle is pretty comfortable, but I do prefer mine on the former side, a uh, firmer side, excuse me, this feels a little bit more like a couch, but between uh, the wheels, put some uh, TPU inner tubes in here, a carbon saddle, you can easily save yourself 500, 600 grams. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I'm really excited to uh, use this bike of this upcoming uh, season uh, because the quality, from what I can tell, just the fit and finish of uh, this bike, all the small details that Polygon uh, implemented into this bike, um, it's a winner in my book as far as the first impression uh, goes. Um, so I do want to give a big thank you out to uh, Bikes Online for sending uh, me out this bike to loan uh, for this upcoming season. And of course, guys, um, I will have a longer term uh, review of this bike. Um, I'm not kidding you. Um, today is the uh, beginning of April and it is freaking snowing outside in Chicago. We had really warm weather all winter and now Mother Nature has decided to overcorrect itself and now we got snow. But anyway, guys, 
questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. And I'm going to check you guys on the next one. Thank you so, so much for watching. Peace.